Hey everybody, Gabe Cordova here, uh, president at Firepoint Realvolve. Uh, want to uh, jump right in and talk to you about viral marketing, about real sync, about uh, staying in touch with your database, things that you can do that are automated, that are gonna keep people coming back, keep your name, your brand, everything in front of them. Uh, I'm gonna have everybody introduce themselves here in just a second, but before I do, please chime in. As you have questions about how this works or what we're talking about, there's a Q&A section down below. Please type in your questions in the Q&A, not in the chat, uh, so that we can get those answered for you. Everything is being recorded, uh, and we'll get a copy of this sent out to everybody. Uh, just give us about a day or two. So without further ado, let's start. I'm going to go in reverse order of who joined the call. So Frank, since you just logged in like 30 seconds ago, uh, tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, guys. My name is Frank Pleasitz. Uh, I'm with Viral Marketing. Been around for about 11 years. Uh, Jason's a client here, and uh, before Gabe went into Firepoint, work with us. And the reason you would give us money and the reason you would look into us is that we help you stay in better touch with your database. More specifically is uh, creating helpful videos to stay in touch. And the purpose of the call today, it's all about communicating with your existing list, and you send out these helpful videos, but it's kind of nice to know who's engaging with them and who's opening your emails and who's clicking through and watching, which can be tracked. And normally all that information is sitting in your, you know, your email marketing program. And we're going to talk about getting it into FirePoint today to make action on those clicks, right, Gabe? Yes, absolutely. And when you said uh, you guys help people stay uh, in better communication, let's be honest. For some agents and some teams, you actually help them start <laughs> staying in touch at all yeah. with your database. So awesome. Thanks, sir. Uh, Jason, I know you've done a couple webinars. Just give everybody a refresher who you are, what you've been doing. Sure. Jason Bramlett over here in Greensboro, North Carolina. So I've been working with Viral for uh, six, seven, eight years at least, it seems. Um, quite a while. Um, of course, work with Firepoint as well. But the integration, it's all about saving time. And if we can touch manually less things and get these systems um, talking across all platforms, just makes life easier. So this is a real good trigger by using the tag system that we've created to quickly sort to find the people that are raising their hand, that are engaging in our information and our content. And then, it, you know, based upon that content really dictates how we're going to follow up with that particular person. So, you know, the, the best um, leads are the people that we have contact with the most and we're delivering the content that they want. The other thing we do is reach out to all of the folks that are in our viral system and ask them what they want to know more about and then create videos and um, information that really is what the consumer wants. So right now, maybe COVID updates, it may be housing market updates, but this at least gets you, you know, gets the right people raising their hand to ask the right questions. So that's, that's how we have always approached virals, just a great communication tool that's automated, which you cannot beat in real estate. Absolutely. And, and, and leveraging video as well, right? For sure. Yeah. You know, one thing that's interesting about the video uh, folks we find that watch viral, they're also the really the easiest ones to get in touch with through uh, bomb bomb zoom meetings. They're already engaging the technology. So, you know, we may touch them once with a bomb bomb video, which leads to a zoom meeting. I and mean, we're, we're getting more appointments without ever having to leave the office simply because we're leveraging the technology. Sweet. Well, and speaking of the technology, we're going to dive deeper into what viral is and what they do and how, Jason, you're using it in your business. But um, what's exciting is, and this is definitely step one, but it's what, Scott, you and your company are doing. So tell us a little bit about what you guys do and how this fits in. Yeah, so Scott, um, I'm here with RealSync, and um, I've been working with Frank and Jason for a long time as well. And basically, our, our job as a company is to help connect all of the different applications that you work with in your real estate business so that they communicate with each other. They push data and you can see real time, you know, real time tasks happening. Uh, so you can essentially create that all in one system that is like that phantom system that everyone talks about. But, you know, if you're using a FirePoint and then a few other things like viral or maybe a voice voice pad or something where we can connect all that and have it go right into FirePoint and everything's happening right in FirePoint and you don't have to jump in these other systems, right? So um, yeah, that's what we do. We help 
push that data. And, and in this situation, what's great about the working with viral is that we can, you know, push new registrations that are coming in in Jason's FirePoint right in the, the viral email marketing system so that, you know, I, you know, everyone's busy. Uh, it's sometimes, you know, Jason may forget to update his database with the viral email account and, and now he's getting that in real time, right? So, um, and on the flip side, when someone's engaging in the emails, we're going to show within FirePoint with a tag who's engaging in those, those emails so that the contact records will get updated uh, with a tag for that specific email that went out. And we're going to dive into that. So, so really what, what was happening prior and what we used to have to do, and I think Jason is, uh, as you're building your database, leads are coming in, opportunities, people, you'd have to upload them into viral. Viral does their thing. And as they're engaging them, that sends you a report. But that wasn't really then updating into the system. So now what's happening is leads are automatically coming in, whether it's your lead generation or manual. Those are automatically going to viral. Viral is doing all their magic, which we're going to break down. And then as they're getting engagement, that's now getting sent back into FirePoint for you all through what Scott's team is doing, correct? Absolutely. And, and so it's just removing that whole, you know, export system, see, you know, CSV file, what format you want it in, then what should I transfer over and what's, you know, and, and so it, it's just taking all those steps out. And, it, the, you know, one of the issues with data not being merged, it, it just, just doesn't happen every day in our world, right? Mm-hmm. So we create this manual task that somebody's got to remember to do every two weeks. And let's face it, it's probably one of the easiest and quickest things to fall off of somebody's list. So, you know, we have to have man, you know, visible person doing this now with, with the technology. It's basically as the leads come in, it's, it's happening across the board. So, you know, now, now that either the ball doesn't get dropped or we can take that task from one of our, you know, operations team and put them on something else that is you know, better use of their time, if you will, but it just eliminated that whole process. Right. So Frank, let's break this down. So what, are, what is viral marketing? What are you guys doing for team leads and teams like Jason uh, that, that, that's creating this, this, this activity, this engagement? Yeah. So it starts by rounding up your existing list. So you probably have uh, a list of emails of contacts in your cell phone. Uh, You probably have a list of contacts in your Gmail or your Outlook. You probably have a list of contacts and probably other CRMs that you've used over the years before you switch to FirePoint, right? And usually for most people, they're kind of this little, uh, kind of all over the place. And what you want to do is grab them all, export all the CSV files, and um, scrub them all, which I won't have time to go into detail, but remove duplicates and use services that remove bad emails. And with all due respect, I would put it all right in FirePoint. What are your thoughts on that, Gabe? Yeah, I, mean, I, I would. I mean, I, I think yeah. the more you're centralized in one spot, the better you're not having to go. Yeah, I put it all right in FirePoint. So I would just create a tag of like, here's my whole kind of existing list. And then obviously of all the new leads, the FirePoint's generating, you want some other type of campaign. The point is, is that, that's your entire business, personal, professional life sitting in there that's deduplicated and any bad contacts have been removed. Right. Now it's a matter of communicating with them and sending out information so they know that you're, you're there to help them with educational videos and content. That's essentially what Viral does and you can learn more about the details out there. But the point is people are gonna open and people are going to engage with it. Now you can get lucky and somebody clicks on a link in an email and goes and registers on FirePoint or somebody replies back to you. I call that kind of getting lucky that you got some engagement that way. But the reality is, is you may have several hundred people. Some people might even have a thousand or two. And at least a handful of people clicking these links and engaging that you wouldn't know unless you looked at the actual activity report uh, from your email marketing account. Now, normally, um, that email marketing is done in a separate system, which is an Emma system, the two uh, would sync. So the contacts in your FirePoint, instead of sending your broadcast emails through FirePoint, your broadcast database emails would go through a service like Emma or Constant Contact or um, MailChimp or something like that. The problem is, is that you log into your FirePoint and you want to know like who opened the email. It should like rise to the top in your FirePoint for your call list. That's the whole point, right? Or who's clicking and engaging on the links that should rise to the top in your FirePoint for your call list. Well, normally it doesn't happen. (laughs) 
because you need a middleware. And that's where real sync comes in. That gets those two things to talk. And here's the beautiful thing. This is where this is all leading to today is that if you're sending emails through a separate system, in this case at the viral, you're sending them through Emma and you have FirePoint. When you get the emails from FirePoint into Emma, which will sync, and we send this communication out through your Emma, people are clicking or engaging and that information needs to be put back into your CRM. So when people engage and open and click, it goes right to the top of the call feed. So just like a brand new lead coming in from your website, it's at the very top, right? Well, when people are clicking and engaging in your emails, those leads should be moved or not really leads rather, but contacts because you'd be past clients, really could be anybody, should be moved to the top of your call log. So you really kind of think of when you send your emails out to your database, yeah, you want people to see you and spend time with you, but you also want to kind of identify like who should I be calling in my list? Instead of slogging through randomly, I don't know, a couple hundred people, maybe a thousand or two, could be more just random people in your list. Who's actually interested in real estate? Who's actually interested in talking to you? So, so that information goes right into FirePoint. So the painting more clear picture. So instead of putting a task on every single contact, which could be thousands and thousands to just do random calls, yes. out, we're now basing calls based we're on- We're prioritizing the calls based upon engagement. Now, this is what this is called. If you want to study this, it's called lead scoring. So go to Google and type in lead scoring, because basically what's happening, if you want to get really good on your follow-up to prioritize, because we have limited calling resources, it's, it's expensive to get more calling resources, hire more ISAs and more agents, right? So what you want to do is you want to use technology to send out messages, figure out who engages with them, and now only call that those handful of people. And that's what, um, you know, Real sync allows you to do. You guys like my well, hand gestures? Frank, I mean, <laughs> you know, just for what it's worth, I go through about two or three keyboards a year because I knock my coffee over and I spill it all over my desk. This is actually a brand new keyboard, everyone, for my. <laughs> so, Frank, uh, Nora is asking uh, can we show her an example versus just talking about it? Can we show her an example about yeah. like a video that's going out or an email that's going out? Yeah, I got you. I got you. you do. Uh, yeah. Nora, we don't have time to do a whole demo, but he can give you kind of an idea. Yeah, let me just yeah. show you. Let me show you exactly what it looks like. I'll show and then I could right I could show too how the integration gets set up very yes. quickly yeah. as well. Let me show here's what here's what it looks like. So check, imagine that you have all your past clients and you have your sphere, you have your leads. You know they haven't seen you. You're quarantined in the house. You can't really go meet them. How do you actually get to spend time with people? And it's through video like this. So what you do is you get yourself on video. There's lots of ways of doing that. But then you have this nice email that comes across. It looks something like this. Isn't that nice? That's going out to your database every two weeks. Now, a lot of people won't even open the email. In fact, the majority of your database won't even open it. You'll be lucky if 20 or 30% of your database actually opens the email. Am I right, guys? Yes. And I'm lucky. That's just called marketing. It's how the world is. Now, of let's say you send out to 1,000, two or 300 people open it. Hey, two or 300 people got this brand impression and actually read it. That's nice to know. But even better, wouldn't it be nice to know who clicked this play button here? Or if I were to scroll down a little bit further, there might be some call to action links, such as find out what your home is worth or search all homes for sale on your FirePoint website. Wouldn't it be nice to know who actually clicked on the email, and went back to your blog, went back to your website, went back to actually consume the material or actually watch it on your site? Well, you could know that. Um, essentially, if you guys want to chat about something else really quick, I'll actually log into Emma and let me actually show people email stats. Many people probably haven't even seen email stats. Like when an email goes out, you get statistics on who's opening it, who's engaging with it, and who's clicking on it. Wow. And you want to prioritize your phone call follow-up with those stats. Let me pull that up for you. Uh, Jason, so um, when it comes to, because you're doing these videos, right? So how often are you doing videos? Are you having to edit those? Or what's going on for that finished product? No. So I, I send the raw footage over to viral. We upload it and they do their magic. They put in all the graphics, the call to actions. They load it on all of our social media, YouTube, host it there, everything. And so I, I, I just happened yesterday. So I gave you a, a perfect testimonial, uh, sold these people a home in 2001. Um, uh, viral wasn't even in business then. Right. And nope. so, yeah, right. I was in high school. Yeah. Oh God. Thanks. <laughs> right. uh, so uh, I'm at 2011. I mean, no, but seriously. So we took them out of our old top producer database, put them into viral. And so for the past six, seven years that we've been viral, they've been 
getting our information, right? And they've clicked on a few emails here and there and, you know, hey, we're thinking about maybe we'll sell someday. But it kept me in front of them way better than I was ever doing with uh, a top producer or a phone call or the, you know, birthday cards are great. All that, all that stuff is wonderful. But there's something about watching that video that makes them still feel connected with you. And so we're delivering the content when it, you know, whatever, if it spoke to them, they click on it. Well, they just called yesterday and like, hey, we're, we're ready to sell the house. Yeah, and I think so, I had that email right here. Let me share with you guys. Yeah, and, and real quick though, I just wanna touch on, like the videos that are going though, Jason, uh, they're pretty general, right? Like it, it's just, I mean, can you give me like, like a couple of the topics? I mean, cause I think people are always like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like have a specific message to all these people. It's a very general message, right? Yeah, it, it, it could be, should, should I buy a new home or buy an existing home? What are the advantages, right? What are the pitfalls of buying a new home? And you know, how many builders should I interview? Or you know, the power of a home inspection. Um, is it smart to get your title search before you sell your home? You know, simple little things. Talking how long about are these videos? Two, two, two minutes tops. I mean, I'm, I'm a two to two minute and fifteen seconds guy um, <laughs> because that that's just. I've done them shorter. I've done them longer. It seems that two minutes is just long enough to get what I want to say out there, but not bore them to death. And then here's the thing. If they want more information, they will reach out and ask the questions. I mean, we get tons of questions because we didn't go deep enough, but that's good because that's what we want is that engagement from the client. Cool. All right, Frank, show us. Yep. So this is actually an email I, think, I believe we just sent out. And every now and then um, uh, I write some messages that don't require videos. So sometimes I won't go into the whole program, but some have videos, some have don't, some don't have video. This in this case does not, but it's still the same concept applies. I thought this is a good example to show you. So let's take a look at this. So Jason, in your database, how, first off, how many years you've been a businessman? Uh, 23. Okay, 23 years, you probably compile about 17,000 email addresses. 20, so Jason has a very- 24,000 actually, yeah. But yeah, yes. Jason has a very large list. Don't let that deter you. It could work with a list of 100 people, but here's the point. We had a very good delivery rate of this giant list. Only 2,500 people opened it, but still 2,500 people opened it. Got it. Yeah. And 139 people decided, Hmm, I'm actually going to click through in this email and see what he has to say. See this list. So when I scroll down here, I want you to check this out. So here's the email. Again, this isn't a video example, but uh, without going into the details, sometimes we send out direct offer emails, sometimes it's video emails. It's kind of a jab, jab, right hook thing. I digress. The point is, take a look at this. I'm going to show you these call to actions. Click here for all available triad area homes for sale. That's you, right? Yes, sir. Enter your address here to find out what your home is currently worth. See that? Mm -hmm. Now, check this out. I want to put this overlay on here. Jason, if I had to give you the option of calling 17,000 people, or Jason, are you ready? calling the 122 people that clicked to see all available triad homes for sale or the 56 people that clicked to find out what their home is worth. Would you rather call these people or slog through the 17,000? At the end of the day, those are the only people we want to talk to anyway. Right? <laughs> Correct. And marketing is designed to filter that down. Isn't that amazing? Now here's the deal with real sync. When someone clicks these links, it goes right into FirePoint, right to the top of your call list, ready for you to follow up because they recently engaged. Is that right? Yeah, so go ahead, Scott. Why don't you show us uh, kind of what you guys can do, and then I'll pull like a little example list. And again, guys, this is really just our first version of this. We're just getting it rolling, so we wanted to get it out there. Uh, it'll go deeper for sure. But yeah, Scott, show us what you guys do on your side and what we need to do. Yeah, so, um, and Frank, thanks for explaining it in, in such good detail because it's uh, exactly what you said. Like you can come to our website and what we've, what we've done for realtors is made it so simple, but you basically go, I want to add an integration and you click viral and then you click FirePoint and then you put in the API keys and I'm not gonna do that now. And, I'll, and then I'll jump into Jason's and show you how it's set up. Um, but you go to the options. This is what Frank was talking about it shows you exactly what people are clicking and we're going to apply that into um, as a note into the FirePoint contact saying like, Hey, they shared the message or they just clicked on it or they opened it or they, you know, forwarded the message on. Right. 
And, and then also it's going to apply a tag. So when we go to the other side of target options, you create, you know, you just create a viral, you know, let's say it was the COVID email. You can be specific, click, right. Or you could, uh, you know, make it more general, whatever you want to do, right. Whatever you want to call it. But then you're set up and you just activate it. So super simple. When you come to this side, now we have it going both ways for Jason as we discuss. So we have it going from FirePoint into viral, right? And then uh, viral into FirePoint, okay? So um, these two active integrations. So every time he sends out the email, it's gonna do those, those things, right? And it's gonna yep. make those updates. It's pretty, pretty Super helpful. Um, we have a question here showing. Oh, go ahead. Great. I want to show Jason's blog okay. real quick. Uh, unshare Scott so I can share it. Right, gotcha. Quick. So here's Jason's blog. So the question is, is this email goes out, and then people will click the links and they'll come back here and they'll see Jason's videos right here. And they click it. And let me make sure I have my sound on here. I'll turn my sound on. And here we go. Hey, this is Jason Brownlock coming to you with this week's video blog. So one thing I keep getting a lot of questions about Jason, we get you, get you some more light. Are headed into another 2000? Other than that, you look good. housing crash. Well, that's pre-COVID when I could actually get a haircut, right? <laughs> so do not show. But here's the deal: all. I don't think we have to put a lot of time in the production value. They're very simple videos. Certainly, we can make them always look better because there's always better cameras. Like for example, this is one webcam I'm on. Let me show you a different one. This is webcam number two. So we can play around with the different types of cameras, right? But um, for the most part, it's just you recording a simple video right on your computer and getting it out, sending it out to your list, finding out who's clicking and engaging with it, getting that information into FirePoint, calling and following up. And the script is, hey, I'm reaching out. Just excited to see that you subscribe to my video topics. I just wanna know if you have any questions I can answer for you about real estate gets the conversation going and you go from there. Very cool. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show something real quick. So, and again, it's a real high level. If you guys want more information, you can reach out to Viral or, or FirePoint uh, or, or Real Sync for help on this. But basically what this is now allowing uh, is, let me make sure, can you guys see uh, Tanisha Allen up here? Yes. Awesome, so what, what's happening is, is when, when these, uh, contacts in your database, you can come in and literally just add that tag that RealSync is going to add on automatically. And you instantly have a list for that tag that Scott just showed you of the people that clicked on it. Now we just did a small example one here, but if there were 190 people that clicked on it, you would have that applied to all 190 contacts. So that way you could literally go in, you could see uh, what was the last thing I can see. Okay, well, on the 22nd, they're interested uh, in a property and we added the click, uh, the tag on here via the real sync integration. And this is going to be somebody that Jason's going to want their team to call. So right off the bat, you can generate this list and see, has anything happened since that got applied, right? So just real quick. And when you're done, you can hit the next one and the next one, right? So we can now see everything that's going on and find out what's going on. So Jason can see he's got some, some prospects here kind of raising their hand. They can now just at a couple clicks of a button have a call list at his fingertips. All right, so it's super easy for him to find those. He's not going to a CSV file, going in, typing them into his, into his database to pull them up, add the tag, hit sort, boom, they're right there at the top for him to start calling through. Yeah. Um, Speed uh, is the key. Somebody asked uh, me a camera, and I think I saw the question disappear. Yep, got it, Logitech C920. If you can get them, it's a uh, really I'm using hard one right now. Web, it's really hard to get webcams now. Because uh, they're all sold out. I mean, they just aren't. It's really hard to get one. So, Logitech C920 is the way that you should uh, is the best one out there. It's about seventy bucks before COVID. Now they're going for about two hundred and fifty on the black market. Cool. So, how many of these? How many of these videos? Is this once a month? Is it multiple? How does this work, Jason? Brink? Two. Two. Yeah. Two. That's it. Uh, Bi-weekly. I mean, we, we have done with COVID, I will say one thing really that Frank's team has done awesome when we needed to get uh, information out quicker, we were able to do that. But our system is set up twice a month, we're reaching out with some content. And so uh, whether it be, you know, something that's changing in, in, the, in the real estate marketplace or we're just doing general information. The key is not to sell them in your two minute video. It's just to get people to raise their hand. And then, 
as Frank just showed real clear, you know, 122 people that we're going to call as opposed to digging through 17,000 to find those same 122 people. It right. just speeds everything up, you know, tremendously. Yeah. Well, and, and it, not only that, I think it went even deeper too, right? It showed you the people who are searching homes and then it showed you who was clicking on home valuation. So now you kind of have an idea of what script or what you're getting into when you place the call. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it, it gets, it gives you, you know, they're raising their hand probably about the topic in which they have the most interest in. Um, so it's just an easy segue into the conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Frank, will you type that webcam model in yep. the comments or in Hold the on. chat section? Um, sweet. And then, uh, Jason, do you do these every other week or can you record if I just want to, if there's two, three minutes and I want to knock out 10 or 15 of them and just change my jacket or shirt, uh, can you, or do you do that or, or how do you do this efficiently? Absolutely. Um, I, I, you know, it just depends on my schedule, really. If I'm traveling, I may come in on a Saturday and just blow out two months worth like the summer when the kids are home and I, you know, just want to get some generic messages out there. I'll come in on a Saturday, record, you know, five, six, seven different messages, load them up, and then Anna's got them in queue, and she's good to go. Very cool. Uh, Frank, moment of truth, and this is not Jason, so we're going to exclude Jason from this because we know Jason's uh, perfect and, and never misses a beat. Yeah. Uh, somebody's interested in viral. Can I just sign up and give you my credit card, and, and, and you'll do videos for me, and you do everything, or do I actually have to do videos and, and participate in this somehow? I'd like you to. Uh, <laughs> the, so. The easiest way to make it simple, yes, I want you to make videos, is you, uh, we get you on a webcam and then we schedule a time and we just have a video conference like this. We just have a conversation with you on a recorded Zoom meeting essentially. Right. And then we edit ourselves out and you're done. The whole process should take five, 10 minutes. It just log into your Zoom and you're ready to go and, you, and we just ask you questions and you answer them. And we're just trying to get some type of knowledge out of your head. The most popular topic is what are, what's going on with home prices this month. Right. So that's the most popular one is what's going on with home prices. Uh, a popular topic now is how do I sell my home with COVID safely? And also how do I sell my home for full market value when buyers can't walk through it? it. So I just so, want to um, clarify what you just said though and make sure I understood anybody watching this back or on the webinar stand. So you have a, a Zoom video like this and when it's done, mm -hmm. your team and the services, we edit, yeah. you guys edit it, not the agent. Yeah. No, 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 no. The agent, you need to be selling. <laughs> so you need to be making calls and going on appointments. So we, we schedule a time, we interview you for your video. Video's recorded, you're done. Video sent in to us, we edit it, we put it on YouTube, we write the article to go with it, we email it out, we post it on social media, we do all of the work. So we have a staff of about 50 employees in Omaha, Nebraska, where we're based out of that handles a lot for you. And a little tip too is, um, you know, bring your lender on board um, to help participate in some of your videos and to have them pr uh, participate proportionally in that. And we have the paperwork where you can lean on the in-house counsel of the lender to help you out with that. Right. No, that's awesome. Uh, I mean, and I, I'm assuming it hasn't changed a whole lot. So w when I was doing this with you guys, so we're in a team, like mm -hmm. I would turn this on. So if you're just looking at my square, if I had a topic and it was, what is it, you know, selling your home virtually in, in today's market. Yeah. I would just start talking. Hey, I want to talk to you about selling your home virtually. Oh crap, redo. Like I did one take. I hit start. It ran for five, six minutes. It, it ended matter. I had screw ups in there and literally send Frank and his team the entire video. They make it perfect. They cut out everything, yeah. edit it, do everything. Yeah. All the same, right? Yep, 100%. Okay, so That's what we do. All the deets are on the website. The name of the game is, you know, you can send these videos out and kind of wait for business to come to you. Or you can send these out and look at it as more as a way to filter down your list to find out who's interested and to prioritize your outbound phone calls uh, to those individuals. Yeah. I mean, if I had to choose between making cold calls or calling expireds or calling people that don't know who I am right. and are probably not interested in selling their house, this type of work prioritizes people who probably do know who you are and might actually be interested in selling their house. I would call the people on your list first. And this is everybody, right? Jason, Scott, everybody going into Jason's database is going to viral. So it doesn't mean it's just people he's Everyone. met or sold, right? It's everybody. So it's even helping with your conversion process, let alone staying in touch after you've sold them all. Yes, everybody. We stay in touch with everyone. So we take your entire list, your nurtures, your leads, everyone gets these videos, even other agents that end up on there because when you start getting into advanced segmentation, it starts getting very complicated. Think of your viral marketing as like this foundational nurture program 
that's just constantly touching everyone all the time. And remember, it's just an email. People can opt out. It's not a big deal. If you actually look at Jason's last email, Jason, you had 100 people opt out. Fine. Yeah. That's 100 people not to call because calling takes time and costs money. So we can right. focus on the people that are. Right. Well, and I want to touch on that too. So opting out, not necessarily a bad thing, but what also is great about having viral and everything do this, you guys are sending it from your servers, from, from all that too. So, yeah, know. that's a big thing for, yeah, that's a big thing. So um, FirePoint does not like sending out these types of emails to their servers. That's any system um, because they're getting the buyer trip emails. Mm -hmm. You don't want someone to unsubscribe for some random video, let's say they're going to get, and now they're off the buyer drip emails. Sound good? So when we send these emails out through a separate system, in this case, we use Emma, but it's just the same thing as you know, MailChimp or Constant Contact. We're sending these emails out to everyone in your FirePoint. If someone unsubscribes from the videos, they're just off the videos. Right. They're still getting the drips that's going through FirePoint. They still get their property searches. They still get their home valuation. Yeah, they're on two totally separate servers, which is very nice. And it comes from you. It's your name, everything else. And yes, uh, Nora asked, yeah, Viral will edit, will edit and post the edited video, all of it to your website, social media channels. The whole idea is you show up, record the video, and you're done. <laughs> it's optimized, edited, promoted, and out uh, so people I mean, consume you, it. You guys are doing it for me, for RealSync. Yep, we are. You can sign up. Uh, where should they go to get your uh, RealSync email, Scott? <laughs> uh, I mean, they just opt you in our website. And then it goes over. Okay. Tomorrow. So you go to realsync.com and he actually, yeah. Scott, what he does, he publishes two helpful videos a month that actually teaches you how to get your uh, systems to talk to each other through the use of middleware, which is what RealSync is. It's really the, the best way to kind of create your perfect all in one, right? Cause we can't build it for you cause everybody does it differently. So yeah, you know. there's just too many, there's too many systems out there to, for like FirePoint to, to replicate all the different, variations of systems it's just right. such a hard thing to do you know as from a development standpoint so and, and like for virus um, to bring them all together you know some of these other things that people are using and connecting to firepoint and then firepoint's your hub and all your agents are in there and they don't have to worry about going to these other systems you know 100 percent, especially with something like viral where we know the importance of those video emails and everything going out though we want that coming from somebody else so they don't unsubscribe from your property searches your home valuations and stuff like that so all right i want to i want to get this wrapped up real quick uh jason um, what is somebody who's reaching out to viral wanting to do this, get going. Uh, can you give us a little bit of a, just advice or something you've learned over the several years of work with viral as far as getting the, the videos actually done? Yeah. So well, first thing is, is think about technology where we're going. Video is not going away. So if you're not going to embrace the technology, then you have to question, what are you going to be doing in real estate in the next three to five years? Because this is, this is the, the world we're going to be living in from now on. Uh, the YouTube generation, if you will. And, and Frank, you said one thing earlier, topics. So sometimes I, I've run out of ideas and actually uh, Frank has all the information. So I'm like, hey, Anna, what are the top videos that were sent out by viral that got the most clicks? Here they are, here's five. So I just do five that match in my words, if you will, the five top topics that were sent out to what, five, 600, uh, you know, about five or six hundred clients. Probably across a million emails at least. <laughs> Absolutely. And so that gives me a really good idea of what, what are consumers wanting to hear. So I just cater that message. So if you can't think about even what to come up with, they have a system and process to help you. But it really is as simple as what Gabe said. I, you know, I did one shot, one click. They, they cut, create, make it look amazing and, and get it out there. But the, the power is also staying with a constant message and that branding. You know, yeah, it was 130 people that clicked on the video. You, you might say, well, that sucks out of 17,000. No, because our product is not for everybody right now. And so those 17,000 people, there's no way all of them are going to buy or sell this year. It's a percentage. And I think this gets that right percentage to reach to the top and you, you have a better chance of capturing them when you know what, what they're thinking or what they want to know about. So, you know, real estate's a product that moves every 10 years. You're not going to have 90%, you know, listenership, if you will. But it's the ones that raise their hand that are important. So one of the things, um, real quick to jump in, I remember when, you know, Jason took you a year to get a deal 
directly from your, your viral, although these people were seeing your brand and seeing everything for a year. So it, it takes time, like you're saying, and you just got to stick with it because eventually all that business is going to start to turn over and viral just works tremendously for that and, and keeping you that top works. of mind. So it's just, it's such a great thing. And, and uh, yeah. you, you can't do it on your own. You need the help. And Frank, right. Frank set up a system that does the help, you know, well, 23 years long enough to get that return. We're, we're, they're just not going to. So this is a way to get that one. Today. Sorry, Jason. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say 23 years of business. The, the reason that, you know, I'm successful in real estate because I did the crap that nobody wanted to do consistent, consistently for the longest period of time. That's it. I've made more calls, sent more emails, shot more videos, done more commercials, whatever. And, and it's just, there's no, like, there's no silver bullet guys. It's just staying consistent messaging for a long period of time. The, the tortoise always wins the race period. I mean, it just, it always does. And so, you know, yeah, you, you might have to do this for a year. I was on radio for six months before we had any traction and, but you just stick with it because the process is proven. It's just engaging with your database. Well said, well said. Uh, Frank, uh, just takeaways for people if they're interested in this, just come to the website or? Yeah. Well, two things. What I would recommend people to do is to get up to speed a little bit on some of the marketing that we do. So you have the opportunity to sign up for free marketing classes. I teach a marketing class every week. Uh, a lot of what we cover in class, we implement for your viral marketing. And you can see the full syllabus right here. Uh, go on there and check it out. And I encourage you to come to one of the classes I even put out nice little workbooks too, so you can follow along with the lesson to learn how to do this stuff. But once you get comfortable and you check out what it is that we do and you spend some time with us and you're like, you know what, I think I want to do this, go to our website and request a free strategy call and we'll talk to you and see if this is a good fit. If you sign up, uh, here's the pricing. Uh, there is a 90 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like yourself on video, or you don't like the results or just nobody's opening or engaging with your stuff, who knows, uh, we'll give you all your money back. So you have a pretty no risk trial to be able to get started. And that's how someone engages. Gabe, thank you very much. It works. It works. It works. Uh, real quick, Jason, somebody asked you, do you use a headset like Frank or do you go El Natural on your videos? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. Uh, um, I guess more natural. Yeah. So I, just, just like this, other than I'm going to increase my lighting. So we just moved into our new office. That's why it sounds like a hollow uh, mess in here, I'm sure. But we have the... Uh, we have some killer stuff. We got the the Rode Boom not Mics, uh, Frank, for the video room. It's going to be pretty yep. awful. Yeah. Great. Very cool. And I know uh, there was another question as far as uh, what to do to get people to raise their hand. Really chat with Viral on that, guys. It's going to be kind of unique to your business, what your videos are, what you're doing. The important thing is getting alerted when those actions are happening, which is what Scott is doing. And Scott, uh, somebody who is using Viral or wants to start, and they want to get this sync going so they can get everything into – uh, Firepoint, so they're working for the most part out of one spot. I'm guessing you guys help. I mean, you showed us. Yeah, we we help. I mean, it's self serve. It's really easy. And and what's nice is if you're a viral client, it's literally ten dollars to go set up your sync. That's it, ten bucks. If you set up the sync to go both ways, it's twenty five, right? So it's it's really affordable, and you can get this real time automation. It's amazing. Just go to our website, register your account, put in your info, just hit the get started button and click on you know viral to firepoint and if it's too complicated for you obviously there's a you can request a free strategy call we can jump on a call together i can do a screen share and walk you through setting it up but it is it's it is quite easy. simple to set up super easy awesome guys all right we're gonna wrap this up everybody join thank you thank you thank you we'll send out thank you everyone email with a replay with links frank uh jason scott guys i appreciate your time uh, and we'll work on even getting this even deeper. And I can't wait to uh, hear about uh, how this works for you, Jason. Very good. Appreciate it, Gabe. Right, guys, thanks. Take care. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.